bit about the iOS web app mode. So this is uh, the screen that we saw when we loaded up App Chasers. Um, we saw the option on the iPhone side to basically alert the uh, a new uh, visitor that they can install a web app on their iPhone. Uh, so now they can actually have an icon on their iPhone screen that when they visit your blog they're going to be able to uh, basically save that icon to their iPhone and uh, have it right there for access at any time. So we'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Let's go back to the iPhone screen. We're going to launch up Safari here. Let's say a user's visiting your blog uh, for the first time and they're gonna get this little alert right here at the bottom okay so there we go install this web app on your iPhone so that's gonna alert them to basically go add to home screen and they can now add a uh, custom icon to their home screen for your website so back to the home screen there it is now notice this this is really cool what WP touch pro does here when they click on this it's gonna launch a, a splash screen for your website just like a native iOS app and then it's gonna bring them right into the mobile version of your uh, your site here so we can see it displayed right there just like we were looking at on uh, mobile Safari only now they've got it saved right to their desktop uh, as a web app so we're going to show you some of these settings here let's go back into our okay we're in iOS web app mode so we've got enable or disable so we'll enable that uh, we're going to look at the different options here now this is the message that's shown uh, right here and actually you can change that customize it this is the one that was shown uh, to alert the the visitor that they can install this web app and also the startup splash screen you saw that uh, when we started up the web app this is an image that you can just uh, enable you can uh, put it right in there enable it and uh, when the uh, user then launches that screen or that web app it'll show that splash screen while your web app is loading in the background there's, there's a special one here we've got a one for the iPhone we've got one for the iPad so you can set both of those let's go back over into our iPad settings now we've got iPad support enabled or disabled now many people feel that the uh, their website through WordPress WordPress displays uh, just fine on the iPad already so they don't really feel a need to enable the WP Touch Pro app but this is a choice that they give you here um, so we can enable it or disable it we can look at the header bar black default gray or deep blue we chose black for ours and we're going to show you at the end of the uh, video here uh, what it looks like on the iPad we got our custom background here which is uh, very similar to what we did, what we showed on the iPhone. Uh, different background that you can load this time uh, set to the iPad screen size. If we don't have one of those, we can look at the sidebar, or excuse me, the uh, general background that will be shown here. Sidebar background will show you uh, what's controlled, what that controls on the iPad side. And then, of course, our our fonts, our colors, all these great uh, options that we can uh, change, switch around for use and display on the iPad. Let's go over into our top uh, tabs here again. This time we're going to look at our last tab and that's menu and icons. So we're going to look at over here, we've got our general settings, we've got the uh, different um, settings that visitors can see in the menu. Uh, for example, we've got a link we can put in our RSS feed that will be available when they click that menu button that we showed you earlier on the iPhone. Um, we've also got an email that they can uh, email you. You can add any email you want in there. We've got our App Chasers email. And let's go over into menu and icon setup. So we noticed before that uh, 
when we didn't have a custom header on the iPhone side, uh, this logo, our header logo, appeared. And we can actually swap that around. Uh, we've got a number of different icon sets. Let's go and show you some of these. Different icon sets here. These are real nice. They can just drag and drop right into uh, change our logos. Now, for the uh, web app version of your blog, uh, we've you notice there that we had on the home screen the um, if someone did choose to install the web app for your uh, uh, for your website, we see here they got this nice little icon here. This can actually be changed and updated on the fly. Uh, right here in the icons uh, screen here, you see iPhone, Android home screen, iPad home screen, and we just uh, went into custom icons. We've got one here that we already loaded, and uh, just drag and dropped it right on there into both of these. So we've got those. You can change that at any time, just like the splash screen, and end users will see that change automatically on their side. So very cool, very wonderful. Um, all these things can be changed beautifully uh, just by installing WP Touch Pro and messing around with some of these uh, different settings. So we've got some great uh, features here. This is how we uploaded our icon for that uh, web app. You can just go right here to upload icon or upload icon set. So that's basically WP Touch Pro. Really uh, versatile plugin for WordPress that's going to display your blog beautifully on mobile devices, whether they're iOS devices or on Android or other uh, mobile devices. Now let's take a look uh, lastly at how the changes that we made look on the iPad. So we're going to... Okay, so we've got our iPad uh, ready here to show you what uh, WP Touch is going to look like on there with our settings applied. So we're going to open up uh, Safari here, and there we go. There's our blog formatted for the uh, iPad. And again, here you see the install this web app uh, right here for new users. They're just going to click on the bookmark, add to home screen, and we'll show you what, let's see what we've got here. We've already done that, and here we go. There's App Chasers right there on our home screen. And there's our beautiful splash screen that... WP Touch uh, allows us to enable and we'll load right in here and there we go the new uh, mobile version so we'll click on one of our blog posts here we'll see how that beautifully scrolls in animates uh, right in there and a uh, very beautiful job that WP Touch Pro does on the uh, iPad now if we turn it let's see do our landscape orientation here I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, on the side here we've got this sidebar that allows us to uh, send an email or users to send an email to us. So that's cool. Um, if you have any other menu items those will show up there too. Now the, interestingly this is the splash screen. See the white screen there? In landscape mode for some reason WP Touch doesn't show a custom splash screen. So hopefully the developers will uh, add that. It's only in Portrait that it shows that splash screen that we had enabled. Also here we've got a blog uh, tab. This will show all of our posts that users can uh, go in and uh, scroll through, pick a post that they want to want to view. Um, very well done, just like a native iPad app. So that's WP Touch Pro on the iPad. WP Touch Pro gets our App Chasers 5-star rating.